morning. <clears throat> it's about uh, midday, well it's one minute past 12 noon on <clears throat> Tuesday the 8th of November 2016. I'm on my way down to Kingston <clears throat> to continue building the <clears throat> bird watching slash picnic platform. And um, I'm just pulling out of Meningi and I've just had the most incredible experience. I stopped in and bought a takeaway coffee. <clears throat> and when I went out to the ute, it was, the guy overfilled it a bit, so he said, look, I'll double cup that for you, which means an extra cardboard cup underneath. I put it on the roof, classic mistake. And then the guy next to me was an old gentleman trying to get something into his boot. And I gave him a hand and he said he had a sore back. So I gave him a hand and we managed to maneuver the thing into his, his boot. And then I said goodbye to him, shook his hand, got in the truck, pulled off. And as I was pulling off up the main street of Meningi out towards Kingston, I heard this strange thump. I thought, what was that? It sounded like something falling off or something. And I looked down and I saw my coffee cup down in the, in the cup holder below. I thought it wasn't the coffee, it wasn't my wallet. So, well, I don't know. But anyway, I pulled. I went on a little further, then I pulled over. And I saw a splash of coffee up on the roof. And then realized that the coffee in here, the cup holder, was an empty cup. So my coffee had fallen off the roof. And I looked back and I didn't see any sign of coffee in the main road or a splash or anything. And then I looked down between the cabin, the back window here, and you can see the canvas through the back there. I looked down in that, into that gap, and there was my coffee, perfectly wedged, upright, stuck between the back window and the back canvas. And so I managed to fish it out, and I think I've only lost about well, one fifth of the cup that splashed out. The rest of it's all there and it's um, it's ready to be consumed. I'll, I'll give you a shot. Whoops, I won't. Maybe a bit dangerous. But here it is here. Perfectly preserved. So, what a miracle. I hope that's a sign of good things to come. Whoops. So, how come I'm going down to Kingston again on my own? Well, this time it's out of a sense of urgency. Do you remember I put the decking up and now I, they said to me don't paint, paint the decking straight away on your platform. Leave it exposed to the weather for a while so that the grain can open up and then when the grain's opened up a little go back and then put the paint on because the paint will hold much better rather than on a perfectly smooth surface. And that's been worrying me because it's been raining and sunny and raining. And I looked at the weather forecast for this week and I noticed that there was going to be a chance of a shower on Monday and then clear all the way through to Friday. So I figured that I, I could go down and paint the deck. At the same time, I have built the balustrades to go around the deck. So I've in the back here, I've got a very heavy load. I've got the balustrades and the wire mesh and everything to go up. Uh, around the platform, around the edges of the platform to make it safe again. So that's the purpose. Okay, so I've just arrived. Um, the time is uh, quarter to two on Tuesday afternoon. And I'm about to start unpacking all of the stuff that I have in the back of this vehicle. Everything unloaded. 
and that's what it looks like. I've just stacked everything up against the sides. Um, now I'm going to put some of the pieces up and start assembling. I've just unpacked. It's um, about 20 to 3, um, still on the 8th, Tuesday. And I've just unpacked all the wood and I've installed this fly screen. Some of you who have been tormented by flies in this this cabin might recognize the value of that. It's got magnets down the middle and supposedly when you push through the magnets seal it up again. The first thing I had to... I'll, I'll show you the reason why I rushed back here quite quickly after our last visit and it's because of these cracks in the decking. I don't know if you can see the, the decking starting to crack and so it's fairly urgent that I, I get some paint onto it before it goes. It needs to crack a little bit so that the paint can, can soak into the boards. But um, last time I was up here with Yin, um, I was a bit alarmed to see the extent of the cracking. So before I could even think about putting the balustrades on, I've had to paint a layer of paint under where they will, they will rest. now uh, 5.30 in the afternoon, all four balustrade frames are up, yeah, and you'll be very glad to know that they all fitted perfectly, your measurements were spot on, so next thing is to put the mesh into the spaces, etc. So So who cares? It's not a beauty contest. Um, it's still Tuesday the 8th um, of November. Uh, and you'll remember that I drove down and arrived here at about 2 and then began uh, doing various things, painting the edges, then putting up the frames. And I thought I was done for the day, but um, I decided that there was one more job that I could do. I just put uh, the ledges onto the frames. So now you can see that the frames have these ledges on them so you can put your drink down here um, and uh, it won't fall, fall off. Um, I suppose I've made it strong enough so that you could actually sit on them if you wanted to uh, but it's probably a bit high to sit on and it's probably going to be a bit dangerous. Um, I've got some jobs to do still. Um, these uprights still have to be uh, fixed properly, they're just fixed temporarily. I've got to go and get some coach bolts to do them properly. Um, and then this here is where the stairs are going to come in, so there's a gap there where the ladder's sticking up. Um, and this here has to be somehow, I've got to find a way of sorting this, it's still a bit loose. So I'll have to have some support for that coming up there. Um, otherwise I'm pretty pleased, and then my last job will be to paint, uh, I'll paint, I'll, I'll just give a second coat to the frame. I've, my first of all tomorrow, I've got to put the grids in. Good morning. It's uh, quarter to eight on the 9th of November 2016, um, the day of the, well no, in Australia it's the day after the American election, but uh, the American election is actually happening because it's still Tuesday there. Um, I had a good night, I read my novel until midnight, and um, it's a beautiful sunny day outside. Um, I'm having my fruit salad for breakfast. And I'm going to dig a hole this morning to put a pole in. 
I'm going into town to buy some bits and pieces, bolts that I need. Um, and then I'm going to get on and finish off the, uh, put up the grids and finish off the platform. So um, it looks like it's going to be a good day. Cross fingers. That sea is so beautiful today, it's so calm and lovely. This is a view from the platform and I've got, I've done three sides of the mesh um, with those mesh clips which you can see if you have a closer look at them. This one still has to be straightened but that's what they look like. It's a clip over the mesh to hold it in place. So I've done three of those. So on the three sides facing the caravan, that's all done. I'll put some more clips on when I see how many clips I have left. And I'm yet to do this one here, the final one, which is the short side where the entrance, where the stairs will come up. Um, the problem, as I said yesterday with this one, is that uh, that there needs support somehow. Okay. I haven't got my watch on, it's probably about 3.40, but here's the actual reason why I had to come up here. Uh, I've, I've repainted the tops of the balustrades and I've, you can see I've painted the corner poles as well, they might need another coat. And now I'm busy painting the raw surface that I've had to sand back and use a wire brush to scrape, so that's the next job. I'll show you when it's finished. Morning. My first cup of coffee on the 10th of November 2016. It's about quarter to 11 in the morning. I've done all my chores. I've sprayed the drive. I've sprayed under the caravan. I've given the decking a second coat of paint. I've trimmed off a bits of wood. But while I was taking, uh, while I was spraying the weeds up near the gate, I noticed that this this new platform here stands out from the gate. You can see it so clearly. So I really need to come back here when I do the steps. That's my next job is to do the steps. But when I come back here um, soon, I think, let's put my coffee down. I think I need to camouflage. I'll need to camouflage. That, that's what you can see from the gate, that big yellow oblong. So I'm going to need to camouflage that. So I'll show you how I do it. That, so next time it's uh, wooden steps going up on the other side and camouflage and then we're almost done so so that's me signing off I'm about to clean the caravan lock up and drive back to Adelaide bye <laughs>